here also uh, when we are talking about the preparation we can see in the auditorium that this is all about indian culture all about make in india because uh, somewhere uh, when we are talking about make in india uh, we cannot forget our indian culture we can, uh, we cannot forget um, uh, our basics so definitely these two go hand in hand also we also again are getting visuals of prime minister uh, who is waiting there in the uh, nsci and uh, waiting for his counterparts uh, and he's also having a, a, a light discussion uh, with the industrialists present over there with uh, there we can also see nirmala sitaraman over there present over there uh, we can see uh, 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 the prime minister waiting in the lobby uh, here now right now in uh, uh, in the auditorium uh, we are seeing like we said that people are waiting with bated breath and uh, uh, when we uh, uh, when we saw prime minister's uh, arrival here in mumbai we knew that it was an action packed one and earlier in the day prime minister narendra modi went to mmrda grounds to inaugurate the uh, M the make in india exhibition center and there at the exhibition center uh, he uh, he had seen uh, uh, because the, the the entire thing was uh, uh, presented in Mumbai ke Bandra Kurla complex as well so a uh, prime minister there in the morning uh, uh, in the afternoon uh, in in the entire afternoon he was uh, he was in 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 the entire afternoon he was present over there and he did take a stock of the various uh, stalls over there various innovations over there to enhance skill development to protect intellectual property build best in class manufacturing infrastructure and all in all to make india a preferred global manufacturing destination so there are many things in this pre uh, preamble that uh, are under this aegis of make in india so the entire world is actually watching because this is uh, the time when the world with great expectations is looking towards india it's a time for india to break out from the past and take its rightful place amongst the top nations of the world the honorable prime minister steps forward to take uh, for india a very poignant step the future it's very aware lies in manufacturing and most especially domestic manufacturing which is the key to faster more inclusive and sustainable growth manufacturing has many stakes involved it's not just because the sector employs about 30% of the non agricultural workforce in india but also because its overall contribution to the economy and only a sharp increase in indian manufacturing will increase the overall income levels of the country so this is a very important step and it's a very uh, right decision that the prime minister has taken to put his weight behind this make in india campaign it's time now they're cutting the you know uh, even we have aur isi ke sath is make in india saptah ka mumbai ke mmrda grounds par utkatan ho chuka hai we have the premier of finland is johar sipila right there next to the honorable prime minister of india shri narendra modi captains of industry as they now step forward to the hall pradhan mantri pavilion 4 ki taraf jahan par antarrashtriya exhibitions hain aur alag alag deshon ke apne tarike se make in india uh, so we saw the uh, uh, prime minister now uh, he was waiting for his in, uh, for his counterparts uh, from sweden finland and uh, lithuania and he has uh, uh, he is uh, ready to receive them uh, there uh, at the make in india uh, we can see the lion uh, uh, the lion of make in india and the ambassador of make in india is there right now with the, and uh, he's going inside he's uh, he's having a stock of the uh, this logo as well because uh, when uh, it was launched in september 2014 uh, uh, we have seen since then this lion uh, uh, lion coming out and roaring loud uh, on the i mean at the entire world so prime minister narendra modi there uh, seeing prime minister narendra modi seeing there uh, uh, the entire preparation and also uh, because we we have seen till in the morning in morning that he has seen uh, different exhibition stalls and everything here in uh, uh, at nsci he has come 
and uh, what we are getting the visuals that he is waiting uh, for his counterparts like we mentioned earlier and uh, 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 looking at his uh, gesture uh, we know that uh, he is getting uh, uh, his counterparts and uh, uh, so definitely he is greeting them and greeting him and uh, welcoming uh, welcoming him and we can see a very nice uh, smile on both the faces so So he's uh, taking uh, uh, the prime minister uh, is taking his counterpart inside, and uh, uh, definitely when we know when two other prime ministers are waiting. Coming back to the morning uh, event at the MMRDA grounds, when we're talking about the uh, Make in India exhibition stand. We expect to see more and more automobiles made in India, more and more um, you know, world-class emission automobiles made in India. And of course, uh, along with all the automobiles, there's also the uh, drive to make high, better and wider rail, road, the road network. So a lot more highways connecting. There's also the corridors which are being made, the dedicated freight corridors to enable freight to travel across various parts of India. There are at least five dedicated freight corridors that are being created to enhance uh, connectivity and also to increase uh, greater movement of goods and transport from one place to another. प्रधानमंत्री है उस पैवेलियन में जहां पर विविध राज्यों की तकरीबन सत्रह राज्य इसमें शामिल हुए हैं अर्थात महाराष्ट्र का एक अलग पैवेलियन है इसमें so there's everything that you can uh, that's being promoted and handicrafts are a very important part because they give employment to uh, entrepreneurs to rural youth and it also keeps a tradition and culture alive कोई क्षेत्र ऐसा नहीं रखा है कि जिसके बारे में सोचा नहीं है या गौर नहीं किया है या फिर जिसका जिसका निवेश या फिर जिसमें जिसके जरिए मेक इन इंडिया कैंपेन को और बढ़ावा देने की कोशिश जो मिलती रही है जो मिलनी चाहिए भी that's right there's so much to see there's so much to do there's so much to hear and along with that there's a bit to read too uh, in order to make sure that this make in india campaign reaches everyone and to promote india as a preferred destination for global investment and manufacturing there's going to be a special issue brought up by condenast and this is a one time edition which will showcase some of india's most creative and dynamic innovators and entrepreneurs across uh, narendra modi we are getting the visuals of uh, the auditorium uh, inside the uh, auditorium what is getting played over there and uh, uh, like we know that everyone is waiting uh, but there uh, some visuals of the uh, make in india audio visual is going on and uh, we are getting some visuals of yes we are getting visuals of prime minister narendra modi he is greeting his counterpart and uh, he is uh, greeting juha petri sipila prime minister of finland and uh, there also a very warm smile and uh, uh, he is also taking uh, the his counterpart inside where he is waiting and we again getting the lion which is roaring hard uh, and would be roaring not just these 6 days but would be roaring for uh, for the uh, we can say that uh, till the time that india comes on the number 1 position in everything so we are getting uh, the visuals where uh, 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 prime minister of uh, lithuania is uh, about to uh, come and uh, definitely for him also prime minister our prime minister would be coming out and uh, uh, welcoming uh, lithuania prime minister and would be taking uh, uh, him also and then when the uh, when all the prime ministers uh, would be meeting uh, definitely they'll be having a quick chat about make in india about india about their country and then they would be moving in uh, towards the auditorium where the actual uh, program is taking place uh when uh, when they are waiting we'll uh, quickly talk about the uh, make in india center uh, there in the mmrda ground so uh, uh, all the uh, six days we would be witnessing uh, you know the foreign direct investment uh, and uh, gdp by uh, we are also getting visuals of chief minister devendra farnavis and uh, maharashtra governor c vidya sagar rao coming in and uh, also he is uh, being greeted uh, inside the auditorium by uh, manohar joshi and uh, 
also the various other dignitaries inside nirmala sitaraman is also uh, there inside the auditorium and uh, uh, we are waiting uh, really for uh, for our prime minister to come in and uh, uh, we know that uh, when the prime minister would be entering there would be a large uh, uh, applause and uh, uh, we everyone is definitely waiting we are getting visuals of chief minister uh, devendra farnavis and nirmala sitaraman and we also see his uh, wife devendra farnavis wife uh, uh, there uh, in the auditorium and uh, uh, we know that uh, devendra farnavis has uh, 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 has done a lot of hard work in uh, uh, in making the make in india week in making this making in india week possible in maharashtra because we have seen visuals everywhere well nirmala sitaraman is there waiting and uh, we are hoping that prime minister would be entering in no time right now and on the uh, screen what we are getting the visuals we are seeing Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi. Accompanying him are the Prime Ministers of Sweden and Finland, and the Deputy Prime Minister of Poland. Ladies and gentlemen, we request you to take your seats. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we usher the momentous Make an in India Week in Mumbai by extending a warm welcome to all our guests and dignitaries ladies and gentlemen welcome to india
we now request the Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Shri Devendra Fadnavis, to deliver his welcome remarks. Very good evening and Namaskar, Honorable Prime Minister of India, Shri Narendra Modi ji, Honorable Prime Minister of Sweden, Honorable Prime Minister of Finland, Honorable Governor of Maharashtra, Honorable MOS Commerce and Industry Government of India, Shrimati Nirmala Sitaraman ji, all the dignitaries who have come from across the world, the world leaders, leaders of business community, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the magnetic Maharashtra. Friends, at the very outset, I would like to thank the Union Government and our Honorable Prime Minister for making us the state of Maharashtra host of this mega event, Make in India, which is showcasing the strength of India to the entire world. As host city, Mumbai announces to the entire world that come over, we are ready to welcome you. <laughs> Honorable Prime Minister, sir, your Make in India vision has changed the entire outlook of this country. It has created a fair competitive atmosphere amongst the states. From cooperative federalism, we are moving towards competitive federalism, but the competition is so fair amongst the states that I am sure we will end up into complementing each other and making India a strong destination for manufacturing. I must mention here, sir, the DIPP's 340 points agenda of Make in India has been amazing. And I must mention here about Mr. Amitabh Kant, who has been relentlessly following it up with the states. And the states have responded magnificently. Sir, we know and the entire world knows that Maharashtra is powerhouse of India. It contributes 15% to the national GDP. It accounts for highest amount of exports. It accounts for highest amount of FDI inflows into country. And I am sure with this Make in India, we have started Make in Maharashtra, which would accomplish the dream of Make in India come true. I must mention here that SOCM has also in its recent report has declared Maharashtra as best investment destination. Sir, to leverage on this strength of Maharashtra and the demographic dividend which we have, we have taken a number of initiatives in ease in doing business. And I must mention here that, sir, the number of permissions for industries has been brought down by 60%. The number of 
sir permissions for hospitality industry has been brought down to 70% and sir in maharashtra especially mumbai for a building plan to be approved it used to take 365 days now it doesn't take more than 60 days and entire entire this permission regime has been put on a single electronic platform nobody no investor has to run from pillar to post every single investor who comes here has to just apply through a single form and the electronic format takes care of everything there is the starting of a business is absolutely hassle free now in maharashtra sir there are many stories i can narrate but uh, for paucity of time i will not but i must also tell you that this make in india and make in maharashtra has traveled a distance in one year which we could not travel for 50 years in our state we have come out with a new it policy we have come out with a new retail policy we have come out with new electronic policy which includes a new fab policy new tourism policy and all these policy initiatives are actually giving very good results and in the presence of our honorable prime minister today we entered into three mous one is about fab we entered a mou with starlight which in 10 years of time will invest 10 billion dollars in maharashtra also in the food processing and agri processing we have entered today mou with coca cola we have entered mou with raymonds and i'm sure that the interest which i could see which has generated after this make in india and make in maharashtra movement we will sign many more mous in the coming 2 3 days all of you know that mumbai is financial commercial and entertainment capital of india and honorable pm sir with your blessings we have decided to turn mumbai into international financial services center and the center would come up at the same venue where make in india week is being celebrated the entire mumbai is excited to welcome you the entire india is excited to welcome the entire world and we have also organized apart from the business lot of activities into art culture bollywood i'm sure this seven days would be happening days for you and my request to all of you is please do your business well but also enjoy to the fullest because lot of programs have been organized by our government in your honor and all of us are at your service i once again wish you all success and thank the government of india for giving us this opportunity to organize make in india conference in mumbai and thank you all for making it big thank you thank you very much jai hind jai maharashtra jai bharat may we now request mr sumit majundar president cii to kindly address the august gathering
Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, Honorable Prime Minister of Sweden, Honorable Prime Minister of Finland, Honorable Deputy Prime Minister of Poland, Honorable Governor of Maharashtra, Honorable Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Honorable Minister of Commerce and Industry, Government of India, Honorable Ministers, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. This is a proud moment for India. Present in this outstanding gathering are captains of Indian and global industry. In, in common endorsement and celebration of the movement called Make in India. We have come together on a platform created by the Government of India, the Maharashtra State Government, NSCII or Confederation of Indian Industry, which is India's Apex Industry Association, we are proud to be the partner. Make in India is an innovative and revolutionary mission for India. It deploys holistic and multi-dimensional levers for building manufacturing excellence. CII and Indian industry salutes and compliments the Honorable Prime Minister as the architect of this visionary mission. Sir, your dedicated commitment to the cause of manufacturing and your guidance are inspirational in revolutionizing this sector in India. We in the manufacturing community are excited to play a supportive role to this mission. Prime Ministers, Ministers, Excellencies, what a turnaround we have seen in India. Two years back, we were almost off the global map. And now, not only has India, is India the fastest growing economy, we are also one of the largest recipients of foreign direct investment. And here we stand, celebrating India's emergence as a global manufacturing powerhouse. India is back on the global high table. And all this thanks to the phenomenal leadership and vision of our Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi. <clears throat> Sir, we will further your thoughts on identifying key sectors where India can be the global leader in the next decade. Indian industry will work under your guidance and direction to make this happen. We have no doubt that under your leadership, India will emerge as the next global manufacturing destination. Thank you, Prime Minister, for Make in India. Thank you, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations to all who have put this outstanding event together, which has been led, of course, by the Department of Industries, Industrial Policy and Promotion. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. May we now request Mr. John Chambers, Executive Chairman, Cisco Systems, and Chairman, USIDC, to kindly deliver his address. Ten years ago, at Cisco, we bet on India and made it our second world headquarters. Eighteen months ago, we said there are changes going on in India that if you're going to bet on any emerging market in the world, it should be India. And three months ago, I had the opportunity to become part, the chairman of the United States India Business Council. And when people ask me why I did that, it's because India is at the front end of a major market transformation. Something that can, for the world, have $19 trillion of economic impact, for India, $511 billion over the next 10 years. That is 1 to 3 percent growth in GDP. It is inclusion of your entire population for where the future is going to be. It will be about smart cities made in India. It will be about a startup community, a secure country, etc. And you have a leader that understands that far better than almost any other leader in the world. When you look at your future, and I have the chance to meet with most of the global leaders, 
Chancellor Merkel in Germany understands what this means to the future of her country. Cameron in the UK does. Renzi in Italy. Perhaps Alain in France, Mr. Prime Minister, understands it to the same degree that you do in terms of how it will completely transform the country. When you think about India, the opportunity is very simple to become the manufacturing hub for Asia. The ability to do that in automotives, as you're already making huge progress on, to expand that to electronics, to expand it to high tech and pharmaceuticals is within our grasp. And at Cisco, we are committed to doing that. We will announce our first manufacturing location in India, in Pune. We will announce that today in terms of a high-tech commitment, much as we did in China 20 years ago. But what is unique about your leader, Prime Minister Modi, is he grasped it cannot be just a digital India, or a made in India, or a smart cities, or a startup India, or a secure India, or an environmental. It's how they come together. I see your leader as an individual that much approaches an issue like a sculptor does, who looks at a large rock in terms of what's possible, and all of a sudden not thinks just of the statue or the monument to the future, but the symbol for India's future, which I believe will be to lead the global economy. India will become a country that will leapfrog your counterparts on a global basis. And India will be a country that no longer slowly follows what others have done, but leads in terms of innovation and leadership. It is the ability to bring that together with the vision that I think makes such a difference for this country. But the time is now, and we must move very fast. Every country, every company, every citizen of the world will become a digital organization. India should and will lead in this trans transformation. And so on behalf of the United States, India Business Council, on behalf of Cisco, and as a leader, we are honored to be your partner in this transformation as Make in India comes to life. Thank you very much. May we now request Ms. Safra Katz, Oracle's global CEO, to kindly address the August gathering. Namaste, Modi ji. Thank you for inviting me to participate in this miraculous event. It is an honor to be here. And thank you, Chief Minister, for hosting us in this wonderful city of Mumbai. India is in line to be a powerhouse economy. It is a moment in time where every star is aligning. We have the courageous leadership with vision and ambitious plans from Make in India, Digital India, Invest in India, Skill India, all of which are only possible because of the courage that we have already seen. And we have a time where we have hundreds of millions of young, ambitious people with strong intellectual power. These under 35-year-olds can be either a terrifying force or a phenomenal opportunity. And we finally have the technology to allow India to leapfrog ahead, to go where others have not even been yet, because they don't follow anyone. They won't be old-fashioned. They won't do it the old way. We, most of these programs are based on the newest technology, on the cloud. With all these three things possible, I don't know where else there is a greater opportunity on this planet. Now, we have been in India for decades, and we have nearly 40,000 people already. But that is not enough investment, which is why I announced yesterday $400 million facility in Bangalore, additional education of over 
500,000 young people a year where we focus additionally on the, woman, on the young women and of course nine incubation centers for Startup India to advance these companies. But even that is not enough. In April, we will have Oracle Cloud World right here in Mumbai, where we can bring technology and the brightest thinkers together. Because this is the greatest possible time. We thank you for letting us participate in it. We are honored to be with you, and we are excited about this, maybe even more excited than you are. Thank you, everyone. May we now request the Minister of State Independent Charge for Commerce and Industry, Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman, to kindly address the gathering. Maniya Pradhan Mantri Ji, you excellencies from Sweden, Finland, Poland, and several other countries from where dignitaries have come over for this Make in India Week. Business leaders from all over the world and invite his guests. It is indeed a proud moment for us. The Prime Minister had launched Make in India in September 2014. We had from then worked intensely to make sure Make in India, which is an initiative which actually spoke about new processes, new mindset, new sectors which got opened up, sectors which invite now entrepreneurship. The mindset was for the government, both centre and of the provinces, the states, to be changed from being a regulator to a facilitator. And that is where the Prime Minister, in one of his prior speeches, had very clearly said that India shall no longer be known as a country of red tape, it shall be known for red carpet and spreading of red carpet for anyone who wants to come in to invest or to manufacture in this country. And as a result of which, and also as a result of his extensive tours to several countries, India's brand has really picked up, brand India is now a respectable word and India has found itself a place in the high table as a result of which not just the FTI which is coming into India has grown at 48 percent whilst all over the world it's taken a dip by 16 percent. India's image all over the world, the perspective with which people look at India has completely changed thanks to the extensive tours and also the presentation that the Prime Minister has been making about what India is capable of doing. We've had interest in the 25 sectors that we had very clearly stated in the Make in India initiative as it was being launched. Today, you find Chief Ministers are also speaking about the healthy competition between the various states which are there. Ease of doing business is one of the main things which is being progressively achieved. It's not a work done, it's not a job completed. Nearly 99 such issues were sorted out by June 30th of 2015. As Chief Minister Maharashtra did mention, 340 different scores have been identified and states are working rapidly to remove any knots or any inconveniences or hurdles that may prevail for the businesses to come happily to set in and enterprise to grow. We are working on all of them and I'm glad to say now that we are wrapping up nearly one year of hard work on this, 
with the constant reporting back to the Prime Minister who is monitoring this literally on a weekly basis. Today, this week has received such attention. More than 65 countries are participating. From among our own states, nearly 17 have set up their own stalls. You find interest in manufacturing being exhibited by some of the high-tech industries from all over the world. This is a moment that India is cherishing because we have every year nearly 12 million youngsters all coming out with wonderful pool of skills thanks to also the initiative taken by the Prime Minister, the Skill India Initiative. And this 12 million together with a workforce which is also coming out of agriculture to find a place into manufacturing because India's manufacturing policy, as was stated even earlier, aims to have manufacturing's contribution into GDP rise from what it is today at 12 percent to about 25 percent by about 2022. That's possible only with an initiative of this size, this scale and this emphasis and this drive by no less a person than the Prime Minister of the country himself. So we are very grateful for the leadership of the Prime Minister. We are very immensely pleased and grateful for the particip participation of all leaders who have come from different parts of the globe to be with us today and this week. We look forward to working with you and having greater engagement. Thanks once again. Very welcome to India and to Mumbai. Thank you. The recent challenges of nation building tend to overshadow a far older and greater truth about India. That innovation and industry are deeply ingrained in our cultural fabric. For millennia, India was the world's laboratory, leading to dramatic leaps in art, mathematics, metallurgy, astronomy and biotechnology. Discoveries so profound that they are doubly relevant today. India was also the site of the greatest discovery of all, the discovery of the inner self. This ancient legacy of innovation is now resurgent and is being further augmented by new socio-economic forces. The ambitions and entrepreneurial energy of 1.3 billion empowered citizens, a love of free enterprise, mastery of technology, unmatched skills, and an almost spiritual devotion to industriousness. This unique balance of ancient instincts and new demographics is what makes India the perfect partner for nations and corporations. Ladies and gentlemen, there has never been a better time to make in India.
May we now request His Excellency the Prime Minister of Sweden, Mr. Stefan Löfven, to kindly deliver his address. Prime Minister Modi, Heads of Governments, Ministers, Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Business Community Representatives, Officials and Members of Diplomatic Corps, Ladies and Gentlemen. Good evening, Mumbai. Namaste. The eyes of the world are on China. Sorry, on India. It used to be on China. Now it's on India. The IMF chief, Christine Lagarde, calls India a bright spot in the global economy. It is vibrant, it is multicultural, it is creative, entrepreneurial, and with remarkable prospects for the future, I am thrilled to be here. In Sweden, we marvel at the facts about India's growth rate, its growing middle class and demographics. Prime Minister Modi and the Indian government have set impressive goals to transform India's economy. The Make in India Week is a unique initiative and opportunity. I have brought here to Mumbai and India a very strong business delegation, Team Sweden, with some of our most innovative companies and government agencies. My message to my delegation and to all of you here is the following. Sweden wants to be a part in the transformation of the Indian economy, or to put it short, Let's make in India. And we already do, not least here in Maharashtra. For decades, Pune has been a home to Swedish manufacturing, and throughout India, the numbers of Swedish companies and jobs are growing. Swedish companies focus on skills development. They are recognized for their cooperation with the local communities. We take pride in being reliable partners and we are truly here for the long term. I am proud of the great partnership my country enjoys with the world's largest democracy. We work together on issues from energy to the environment and health, from digitalization to defense and security, and we enjoy a close dialogue on global issues. And I see many areas for closer cooperation, but let me just mention two of my absolute favorites. First, innovation. Innovation has made Swedish com companies competitive. And you might be familiar with some of the Swedish internet applications such as Skype. Digital innovation is key to the future of manufacturing and there is great potential for Indian-Swedish cooperation in this field. Second, sustainability. It is possible to tackle environmental cha challenges and achieve high economic growth at the same time. Let me take an example from my own hometown, Stockholm, in Sweden. Hundred years ago, heavily, heavily polluted from local industries, today one of the cleanest capitals in the world, where you can actually take a swim in the middle of the city. So sustainability does not hold development back. On the contrary, developing new emission-reducing products and innovations that the world is asking for will create jobs and it will create export revenues. 
in companies and countries that are in the forefront will be the winners. So here we have a true win-win situation. Sustainability, dear friends, spurs economic development and growth. But it takes a shared vision. It takes close cooperation between government, industry and civil society to modernize and to change behavior. So let us be guided by Nobel Peace Prize laureate Rabindranath Tagore's wise words. He said, you cannot cross the sea merely by standing and staring at the water. So let us boost cooperation and cross the sea together. I am pleased, dear friends, to announce that a Sweden-India Business Leaders Roundtable will be established with prominent personalities from our two business communities. And lastly, ladies and gentlemen, I come to India with an offer of even deeper long-term partnership between Sweden and India and I am convinced that Make in India will be one of the enduring centerpieces of this true partnership. Thank you very much. May we now request His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Finland, Mr. Juha Sepela, to kindly address the August gathering. Dear Prime Minister Moody, dear colleagues, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's a real pleasure for me to address such an audience, including Mr. Prime Minister himself and business leaders who together are equal to the best part of my country's GNP. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to share some of my thoughts with you today. It's truly great to be in India. It's truly great to be at Make in India. Being among business people actually makes me feel at home, as my background is in business. As a young man, I established my first own company in, in the IT sector. I therefore know from my own experience, what it takes for a young entrepreneur to develop his company and his product to become a success. You need ideas, you need know-how, you need stamina, and you need financing. But who is willing to finance a young man or woman who has just invented what he or she believes to be next iPhone or Instagram. What do you do when he or she knocks at your door? Let me give you a solution. To enable a birth of new path-breaking innovations, we need platforms where innovators, startups and interested investors have a chance to meet. It has, and it has happened. We in Finland have one of the most successful platforms of, what, uh, of uh, that kind of uh, in the world. This is an event called SLAS and it happens in Helsinki every November. I am certain, Mr. Prime Minister, that our SLAS and your Startup India have a lot to com compare notes with. Ladies and gentlemen, Renewable energy is the call of the future. India needs it, Finland needs it, the world needs it. It is also one of my personal passions. Back in time I designed and built an area of economical housing, including renewable energy, in my hometown. You, Mr. Prime Minister, have set a remarkable goal for renewables in India. 
when that get real india will be showing the way to other to others as for us the major finnish energy company fortum is already in india in solar power sector and is ready to contribute more biomass is another energy sector where several finnish companies can contribute a lot in india and it is also one of the focus area of my own government's energy policy mr prime minister making india has a strong link to manufacturing but manufacturing doesn't happen without ideas and innovations and we both india and finland are about ideas and innovations there are already a lot that is happening between us but there is no limit when we put our minds together to create processes that benefits manufacturing for domestic and world markets and putting our minds together is easy the fact that when flying out to delhi the closest point to reach europe is finland finnair's direct flight will take you from delhi to helsinki in less than 7 hours finland is the gateway to europe mr prime minister ladies and gentlemen i look forward to witnessing ever growing in the finnish cooperation in ideas innovations and more this will be a success story that benefits us both thank you May we now request the Chair of Jury Time India Awards, Mr. Norman Perlstein and Mr. Rajat Dhawan, Director McKinsey and Company, to kindly introduce the Time India Awards. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the inaugural Time India Awards. These awards were developed to recognize excellence in Indian manufacturing. Although profits were important, the awards went to companies who also demonstrated best business practices as they worked to improve the lives of Indians and the rest of the world. While the government encouraged creation of the Time India Awards, it assured their integrity by insisting that we develop an impartial research-based process for assessing India's best manufacturers. Beginning with a database of more than 3,000 companies, we and our knowledge partner, McKinsey and Company, shortlisted 150 companies who were invited to complete a detailed application form. The three finalists in each of three categories best-in-class manufacturing, innovation, and young maker of the year were announced last month at the World Economic Forum in Davos. Our splendid jury, selected for its integrity and its business acumen, included Carlos Ghosn, Chandra Kohar, John Rice, Kevin Sneeder, Naran Murthy, and Rana Fururhar. They joined me in choosing tonight's winners. My thanks to all the judges for their thoughtful dedication and participation in this year's Time India Awards. It is now my pleasure to introduce McKinsey Director Rajat Dawan, who will th take you through the methodology for this award program. Thank you. Good evening. Make in India is an idea whose time has come. In fact, Make in India is already gaining traction. I'd like to add to today's spirit by saying this. Let's not just make in India, but make better and more efficiently in India. May make in India be the most competitive force out there. The Time India Awards celebrate the spirit of excellence, the spirit of striving to stretch and achieving more. We hope that these awards 
will ins inspire the creation of hundreds of large manufacturers to rise from India. Here is a short film that will introduce you to the awards process. The Time India Awards celebrate competitiveness, innovation and entrepreneurship. We were looking for companies that are making distinctive contributions to make in India. We in fact awarded holistic business performers, not just companies that are running the best plant operations. We followed a rigorous process to identify contenders for these awards. We started with more than 2,100 companies covering the Indian manufacturing space across 14 sectors. 150 were shortlisted on the basis of their scale, excellence, innovation and value created for stakeholders. Along with timing, our intensive and objective assessment of these companies have focused both on performance and their contribution to the whole ecosystem. An eminent panel of jury members has selected the winner for each of the award categories. We looked at much more in detail at the operational efficiency. Innovation was a very important criteria. And finally, we did look at the financial numbers as well. We at McKinsey & Company take extreme pride in being the knowledge partners for this inaugural edition of Time India Award. Thank you, Rajat. And now I would like to announce the Time India Award winners for 2016. For best in class manufacturing. The winner is Tata Steel. Tata Steel, founded over a hundred years ago in 1907, Tata Steel has become synonymous with India's steel sector, transforming the industry with its unmatched focus on low cost and energy efficient manufacturing. With 80,000 employees spread across five continents, Tata Steel has evolved into one of the world's leading steel manufacturers, with customers in sectors as diverse as construction, automotive engineering, consumer goods and shipbuilding. The Innovator of the Year. The winner is Hero Motor Corp. Hero Motor Corp. After operating for 25 years as a joint venture with Japan's Honda Motor Company, Hero Motor Corp has been functioning independently since 2010, showing how an Indian automaker can hold its own against the best of the world. Hero is the world's largest manufacturer of two-wheeled vehicles, a position that owes much to its manufacturing capability that has resulted in a steady stream of new bikes and scooters that are popular with consumers in both India and beyond. For Young Maker of the Year, the winners are Yogesh Agarwal and Rajesh Agarwal. Shanta Farmer. Yogesh and Rajesh Agarwal have transformed the Janta Farmer, once a money losing business, into one of the most profitable players in the Indian pharmaceutical business focused on producing branded generic drugs. On their watch, Ajanta's market capitalization has increased by a whopping 65 times over the past 10 years to about 1.6 billion US dollars. Today it employs over 6,000 people globally, including over 640 at its R&D center in Mumbai. I would now like to invite to the stage our winners. Mr. T T. V. Narendran of Tata Steel, Mr. Pawan Munjan of Hero Motokor, and Mr. Rajas Agrawal and Mr. Jogesh Agrawal of Ajanta Pharma. It is 
now my great privilege to invite the Right Honorable Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, to join us on stage to present the awards. Congratulations to all the winners. Thank you, Mr. Norman Perlstein and Mr. Rajat Dhawan for doing the honor. May we now request the Honorable Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Modi, to kindly unveil KPMG's report on India, entitled, India Soars High. The report highlights the reforms initiated by India to emerge as the world's fastest growing large economy and special commemorative books make an India impact and investment opportunities in India. These books analyze the impact of the Make in India initiatives on FDI reforms, ease of doing business, innovation design and the vast opportunities in 25 Make in India sectors. May we now request the Minister of State Independent Charge for Commerce and Industry, Srimati Nirmala Sita Raman, and Mr. Amitabh Khan, Secretary, Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion, to kindly hand over the books for unveiling to the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi. now request the Honorable Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, to kindly address the August Gathering. His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Sweden, His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Finland, His Excellency, the first Deputy Prime Minister of Poland, ministers, excellencies and dignitaries from other countries, Governor of Maharashtra, Chief Minister Maharashtra, Minister of State for Commerce and Industry, invitees, industry leaders, ladies and gentlemen. I am delighted to be part of the celebrations of the Make in India Week. I welcome you all to Mumbai, the commercial capital of India. I particularly welcome our friends from abroad and thank them for their active participation. I thank the government of Maharashtra for hosting this event. I also thank other states for their active participation. Friends, when I look back at the launch of the Make in India initiative over a year ago. I also recall 
the aspirations of our youth. 65% of the population of India is under the age of 35. This youthful energy is our greatest strength. We launch the Make in India campaign to create employment and self-employment opportunities for our youth. We are working aggressively towards making India a global manufacturing hub. We want the share of manufacturing in our GDP to go up to the 25 percent in the near future. We were also aware that under the pressure of this campaign, the government machinery will be required to make a number of corrections on the policy front. We are committed to make in India an easy place to do business. We want to present to the world the enormous opportunities that India offers as a base of manufacturing design, research and development. Make in India Week is an opportunity to take stock of how we have performed and what could be the road ahead. This event will showcase different aspects of the progress that we have made. This is the biggest multi-sectoral event and exhibition ever held in India. I encourage all of you to see for yourselves the direction that India is taking. Let me take this opportunity to share my thoughts. In a year's time, Make in India has become the biggest brand that India have ever created. Both within and outside the country, it has, it has captured the imagination of people, institutions, industries, media and the political leadership. This is because it reflects our collective desire to engage in productive activities. It also reflects the global need to produce things at lower cost. It is forcing us to make correction and increase efficiency. It has encouraged us to integrate with the world on equal terms. Let me give you some concrete examples of what we have done. Today, India is perhaps the most open country for FDI. Most of the FDI sectors have been put on automatic approval route. Our FDI inflows have gone up by 48% since the day my government came into office. In fact, FDI inflow in December 2015 was the highest ever in this country. This is at a time when global FDI has fallen substantially, 
we have carried out a number of corrections of the taxes and front. We have said that we will not resort to retrospective taxation. And I repeat this commitment once and again. We are also swiftly working towards making our tax regime transparent, stable and predictable. We have laid all-round emphasis on ease of doing business. In the manufacturing sector, we have taken decisive steps to simplify process and rationalize provisions. This includes licensing, cross-border trade, security and environmental clearances. We have announced attractive schemes in several sectors including electronics and textiles. We have made substantial policy corrections in the defense sector. From licensing to offset regime and export regime, we have given what the defense industry was looking for. Smooth and transparent allocation of natural resources is another example. The advantages from these are twofold. On one hand, the production of such resources has gone up. On the other hand, the transparent regime that we have established provides a level playing field among users and stakeholders. This year, we will record the highest ever coal production. Also, 2015 was the year where India's highest ever generation of electricity was recorded. On the issue of safety of properties and rights, we have already enacted a law for fast-tracking of arbitration proceedings. We are establishing a dedicated commercial courts and commercial divisions in high courts. The formation of the company law tribunal is at the final stage. Soon, we shall be putting in place and effective IPR policy and patent regime. We hope to pass the bankruptcy law which has been tabled in Parliament. Hence, on the front of policy and procedure, we have made our systems cleaner, simpler, proactive, and business friendly. I believe in minimum government and maximum governance. Therefore, almost on a daily basis, we are trying to remove the bottlenecks that were affecting investments and growth. It is good to see that Changing and corrections are taking place not just at the level of the federal government but also at the state level. States are now in healthy competition to provide ease of doing business and infrastructure linkages. The results have been encouraging. India has become the fastest growing large economy in the world. We will end 
this fiscal year with well over 7% growth in gdp imf world bank oecd adb and other institutions have projected even better growth in the coming days in 2014-15 india contributed 12.5% of global growth its contribution to global global growth is 68% higher than its share of the world economy let me also mention some other indicators india has constantly been ranked as the most attractive investment investment destination by several global agencies and institutions we have jumped 12 ranks in the latest global ranking by the world bank on ease of doing business india has improved is anected ranking of investment attractiveness from 15th to 9th india has jumped 16 places on the world economic forum global competitive index moody's has upgraded the rating of india as positive the momentum of the make in india campaign has given us confidence it motivates us to make our policies and processes easier and friendlier with this background i invite and encourage you to make in india your workplace and also your home friends we are particularly keen to scale up investments in next generation infrastructure this includes roads ports railways airports telecom digital networks and clean energy we are also investing in our social industrial and agricultural infrastructure to give better income and quality of life to our people so far it was our implementation capacity that was the biggest bottleneck we have speeded up processes the result is faster turn around of projects India's highest ever kilometers of new highway contract awarded similarly the increase in railway capital expenditure was the highest this year thus whether it is a physical or social infrastructure we are executing it much more efficiently than ever before another bottleneck was financing to enhance financing we are trying to innovative ways we are opening up our green field and brown field projects for public private partnership with strong fiscal discipline and by plugging leakages we are trying to provide more resources for infrastructure we have also set up the national investment and infrastructure fund we have come up with a mechanism of tax free infrastructure bonds for projects in rail road and irrigation sectors we are working with a number of countries financial markets and funds on these financial instruments ladies and gentlemen india is a land of immense opportunities 
50 of our cities are ready for setting up metro rail system. We have to build 50 million houses. The requirement of road, rail and waterways is enormous. There is no time for incremental changes. We want a quantum jump. We have also decided to do this in a cleaner and greener way. That is why we have made a commitment to the world community at the recent COP20 meeting in Paris. Hence, we are going for renewable energy in a big way, 175 gigawatts. I lay great stress on zero defect and zero effect manufacturing. We place high emphasis on energy efficiency, water recycling, waste energy, clean India, and river cleaning. These initiatives are directed at improving quality of life in cities and villages. These initiatives provide you additional avenues for investment in technologies, services, and human resources. Friends, India is blessed with three Ds. These are democracy, demography, and demand. To this, we have added the fourth, fourth D, that is deregulation. Today's India is this four-dimensional India. Our judicial systems are independent and time-tested. You will not find all these elements in any other country in the world. With these trends, India offers you a solid platform to test and launch your making and designing capabilities. In addition, our maritime location makes it easy to market products in several other continents. We are trying to further enable and harness this vast potential with path-breaking initiatives. Campaigns like Digital India and Skill India have been designed to prepare people to take part in these processes. We have launched financing schemes which are dedicated to promote entrepreneurship. We are giving loans to mudra without any collateral. I have also impressed upon the banks to particularly finance young entrepreneurs belonging to the scheduled castes and tribes as well as women. Only this will realize the dream of Mahatma Gandhi who wanted industry to be run in villages and cottages. Only this will realize the dreams of Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar who advocated the need to move surplus labor from agriculture to other occupations. We are soon going to strengthen this process further under the banner of Stand Up India. I feel that today our domestic industry and investors are feeling 
much more confident and optimistic in spite of an uncertain global situation. When we started the Make in India campaign, manufacturing growth in the country was only 1.7%. This year, it has improved substantially. In the current quarter, manufacturing growth is expected to be around 12.6%. The composite PMI output index has climbed to an 11-month high of 53.3% in January 2016. The total number of investment proposals during the last eight months is higher by 27%. We have recorded the highest ever production of motor vehicles in 2015. As many as 50 new mobile phone factories were set up in the country during past 10 months. Electronic manufacturing has grown sixfold to 18 million. 159 electronic system design and manufacturing units popularly known as ESDM units were established in India in 2015. As per estimate of certain agencies, the Indian job market is now on a strong footing. For example, the Monster Employment Index of India st stood at 229 in January 2016, which is up by 52% over January of last year. Similarly, on the trade front, India's highest ever software export were recorded in 2015. Also in 2015, our major ports handled the highest ever quantity of cargo. These are very good signs. I would like to give our industry some friendly advice. Do not wait. Do not relax. There are immense opportunities in India. You should take advantage of the renewed interest of global players to work in India. Many of them are looking for technological and financial collaborations with Indian partners. This includes high-tech sectors and high-valued areas like defense production. I assure you that if you take one step, we will walk two steps for you. In a competitive world, improving managerial and technological capacity is essential for survival and growth. From press shuttles to pollution control, from health to education, from agriculture to services, our young entrepreneurs and startups are showing us. Never a newer and faster ways for enterprise and delivery. My government is committed to support them and tap their energy fully. We want our youth to become job creators 
rather than job seekers that is why we have launched the start up india campaign we are keen to find ways in which our minds are able to empower the hands our hands are able to master the machines our machines are able to make the best our products are able to beat the rest make in india is a drive to fulfill unmet demands of the common man it is also an effort to engage and empower unemployed i also emphasize on make for india so that human and sectoral needs can be fulfilled i have heard several global companies talk about the localization plans thus this campaign has the capacity to boost the indian economy and also brighten the global scenario friends i have been saying that this century is asia century my advice to you is to make india your center if you want this century to be your century i invite everyone sitting here and also those not here to be a part of india's unfolding story this is the best time ever to be in india and it is even better to make in india thank you very much thanks a lot thank you honorable prime minister for sharing your vision and enlightening us with your views thank you gentlemen it's been a privilege and honor to host you tonight 
We would like to request all our guests to remain seated till the Honorable Prime Ministers and all our distinguished guests have departed. Wish you the very best for the Make in India week. We request you to join us for refreshments outside this hall. Thank you and good night.